Last week, Visual Studio Code released their March 2024 update. And in this video, I'm going to highlight three of the updates that I find especially useful, starting with the ability to apply custom editor labels. This gives you the ability to really fine tune what you're seeing in the tab bar for your file names. To get to this new feature, I'm in the settings. and I'm going to search for patterns. And we're looking for the result under Workbench Editor Custom Labels. And the way this works is we can give it different items where each item is made up of a key value pair where the key is going to match some pattern of a directory where we're going to be wanting to customize the file names as we see them in our tab bar. As an example, I have two Laravel projects open and they both have a routes directory. So my pattern there is routes forward slash and then the double asterisk is indicating any files it finds within this directory. It's going to apply this pattern to. And then for the value, we can customize what we're going to see in the tab bar using keywords like file name, directory name, extension name. There's several examples they provide here. The way I set it up is for any files located within this directory, I want it to show me the name of the file. I'm going to follow that with just the keyword routes. And that's just a keyword I chose. It's completely arbitrary. Um, in this case, I know I'm opening files that configure routes, so that seemed like an appropriate descriptor. Uh, and then finally, in parentheses, I have the directory name, but we go up one level. So when we're referencing the directory name, we can pass it a number where that number represents the nth parent folder of the file we're currently looking at. In my case, if I'm in my routes directory, I want to be able to go up one directory and I want to see what the name of that folder is because that's the root folder of my project. So that basically identifies my project. Um, to understand everything I just said, it's best to see an example. And you can see I've currently got two uh, route files open, and this is the end result. So it says web routes, and then there's the parent folder. And then here's the second one. It's also web routes, but I can distinguish it from the first one because I could see the separate parent folder. And just to highlight that effect, I'm going to temporarily turn this off. I don't want to delete it. I just want to disable it. So I'm going to switch over to my settings.json file and find that setting at the very end of the file so I could just comment it out. And there we go. We could see what it looks like by default. It's the same information, just not quite as clear and concise. Uh, we do see the addition of the file extension, which in this case we don't really need to see. The fact that it's in the routes subdirectory is a little bit more obscured. And just to contrast it again, let me bring back that pattern. All right, so just a little bit clearer. It's going to make it easier to scan across your tabs, uh, especially when you're working with these commonly used files like the web routes file in a a Laravel based project. Moving on, the next feature they added that I thought was kind of neat was the ability to add markers in the minimap. Now, typically, I don't have the minimap open. I don't find it very useful, but I think with this new marking feature, it might be useful. Uh, let me show you how it works, um, and I'll go ahead and demonstrate it within my settings.json file itself. Uh, we could basically create code markers or comment markers within a large file, and those markers will be highlighted in the minimap. Let's say, for example, within my settings file, I wanted a marker where all of my PHP based settings are. So I'm just scrolling up to find that. What I'm going to do is add a comment and we're going to say mark in all capital letters, colon, and then some marker. So I'll just say PHP settings. All right, and you can see that showed up in my mini map. So I could quickly jump to that. Um, and let's just add another one. Let me find my JavaScript settings a little bit higher up in the file. And you can see that added there as well. So definitely improves the utility of the minimap, in my opinion. The final feature they added that I want to highlight is the ability to update your extensions without having to completely reload VS Code. I can't show this directly because all of my extensions are currently up to date, but let's go back to the release notes. They have a good screenshot of it. So this is under extension update improvements. And you can see from this example what happens when you have an extension that requires a restart. Instead of having to reload the entire VS Code window, you can simply just restart that extension. All right, so those were my top three new features that VS Code added. I'm curious to hear from you. What features were you happy to see in this release? And what are some features that you wish VS Code would add uh, in future updates?